when I finished the Perb Right, the Guards Depot, and I had um, suffered quite a lot of indignation, a lot of humiliation for being coloured. Um, I remember just as I left, somebody came up to me and went, you might have got away with that, but wait till you get to Knightsbridge. And it's like, oh my goodness me, I, I thought I'd got over this. So then I arrived at Knightsbridge and uh, of course the, these guys had not seen me, they'd heard about me. And so I decided that what I would try and do is just write a few comments every day, uh, like a little diary just of what happened that day. Because in the first week I had every name under the sun, you know, I'd walk up and go, oh, what's that stink? Or, oh, there's a nigger coming. Or you'd go into the cookhouse and everybody would move away when you walked in or it'd go silent. Um, and it's, I, I can't remember the words that I wrote, but I, I have it in this little booklet. And when I, when I moved to Switzerland, I uh, was going through all my stuff and, you know, it's been years since I got it out. I thought, what's in here? And I thought, oh. and there's only three crappy little bits of paper with really bad writing, terrible English. And I'm reading this thing and it's heartbreaking actually, because the one thing is you think that at the time you're writing something that just you're writing it to get over it. But when you really realise that when you're 18 years old, you had to write something like that. Because I can't imagine many 18 year olds going, having already been in the army two years like I was and, and not having the support that you get now if, if things go wrong and there's always somebody to go and see. And of course there was always somebody to go and see and I did that. But it took my father to write to the very highest level to to try to stop this. And uh, I'm not saying that he managed to succeed, but I, I do remember once when I read his letter, I, I found it in an old file that was in the office once. And uh, it made me very, very sad that that had come to that. But at the end of the day, you know, th that that's a part of my, my past. But I want to say just on this, I think it's what's really important is that whatever I went through, if it helped the process, which I think it, I think it really did, because there was an investigation ultimately and the military, had to change its its procedures and its and its uh, ways of doing things and and if I helped that process in any way by being there and, and speaking up about it then I'm really happy because it, it, within a very short space of time the cavalry changed its uh, the House of Division, Division changed its approach completely and anything that I thought existed in the past was miraculously gone and I just never never really heard of it since so it it was a dark day but I think it really set set the cavalry up for where it was really good and, and I don't look back on it in a bad way. Sometimes I'm emotionally affected by it if I talk about it and I haven't got the letters with me so I'm not but but if I was to you know if I was to go back and reflect on that too much then it would destroy the 31 years that I had because with the exception of a few years I had a, an absolutely amazing career with some amazing people from across a massive diverse uh, regimental and cultural history. So it's, 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 it's a dark day, but it's, it's way in the past. And